Well, greetings all. Uh, there's a fair bit being mentioned these uh, these last few days, you know, by people regarding appearances, okay, and how we all look to each other, uh, what we think about how other people think, uh, you know, what others you know, take it for granted, you know, when they look at us. But myself personally, I couldn't give a damn. You no, know, people take me, you know, as I am, you know. And if they don't like it, then hard luck. Uh, I couldn't give a damn, you know, with my jobs that I've had throughout life, you know. I've been in the army, been a nurse and all the rest. You know, they're honestly, you know, people will have a, a look at me and say, Oh my God, he looks a bit, he looks a bit nasty or whatever. Or I don't want him looking after me. Uh, but at the end, it's what comes out your mouth um, a lot of times, you know, and how we interact with people uh, to see what does actually, you know, what they actually bother about. And then, uh, and these people that, uh, that bully others, you know, because they, you know, because they, they they don't fit in the group, or oh no, 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 they're not handsome enough to be in our group. Well, bollocks to them, you know. If if that's what they feel, no, then no, then do you really want to be around them? I wouldn't, you know. I know who my friends are. And then, um, you know, and so I stick around my friends, you know, so if people, you know, make comments on how you look, you know, they just say, well, bog off, you know, I don't want to know you, you know, my friends don't give a damn what I look like, and like I say, you know, then um, I've never been a Prince Charming or a George Clooney, he's got nothing to worry about, you know, but then likewise, you know, would you, you know, would George Clooney want to be a nurse or whatever, you know, or have mates with him in the army, you know. Right. Other things that have happened to me then, right? Uh, as uh, as I've already mentioned, um, I spent a long time in the British Army, uh, went all around the place, you know, and then uh, and I've mainly enjoyed the places where I've served, and then um, you know, in Germany, Osnabrück especially, uh, I can thoroughly recommend the town. Uh, it's twin with Derby in England, and um, I like to see it, and then. And then, uh, I must mention, I normally have me, my glasses on when I'm shaving. <laughs> so I might have to put them on in a minute. You know, cause I, I'm actually watching myself on the screen. <laughs> and, uh, and it's quite amusing. Uh, but I'm seeing what I do. You know, because, you know, my body is now a bit a bit scarred and all the rest. And uh, it's, you know, and then uh, kind of a few extra pounds, you know, but what the hell. Uh, a few tattoos that I've gathered around the world here and there. And then, um, for example, but I think one of my favourite, well, it, back in 90, when was it? It was 1988, uh, I was based in Aldershot in the south of England, uh, and the, my post order came through, not to see you moving to another place, right, and, and it was to Windsor, uh, you know, you've probably heard of Windsor Castle and all the rest, uh, you know, the Queen's got a big place there, a big gaff, uh, and very nice it is as well, you know, Windsor Great Park, you know, very nice for a walk or a run or whatever. Uh, and right, and I was posted this regiment there, the, and uh, I won't give the name. And uh, but my commanding officer, as such, when I was there, was a certain Major James Hewitt. Well, it was a certain Major James Hewitt, right? And even when I was there, right, he was a bit of a prat, um, you know, or an educated idiot, you know, as as we sometimes like to know them as. Right, and um, and I was lucky enough to meet whilst I was there. Uh, a certain Princess Diana, right? Because she used to come. Right? She was having riding lessons there, and uh, and because I was there as a, as a medic, you know, I was just happened to be on the riding stables, right? And she came, you know, uh, and all that, you know. And so she said one sentence to me. I can't remember what it was, and then uh, you know, but a very nice lady, and uh, and even then, you know, there was rumours going around uh, that her and him, you know, were were having, you know, had something going on, you know. But it was like an unwritten rule at the time. And then uh, you know that you, you, you that you um, kept your mouth shut, as they say. You know, you, know, you didn't go spreading rumours around. And then obviously years later, when um, they became known about, he went and um, spilled his guts, you know, for a few for a few, you know, for a few bob uh, to the papers, you know. And then for that, he, um, you know, well, he he, he was blacklegged, as as you might say, you know, to use the phrase, and not being racist. You know, but it was just unwritten real. You no, know, you didn't go shut your mouth off, and uh, you know, and she was a very nice lady. Then I, I, I think I've done everywhere there. Yep. God, I'm God, I'm handsome. <laughs> uh, 
and then um, but as I say but it doesn't really matter what you look like in this day and age you know it's what people think of you uh, and if people are only willing to look on the surface you know then that's their you know, then that's their loss and then uh, you know because it's what it is it is you know people you know some people say ah oh, people keep saying I've got a nice personality and all the rest you know but well it is you know that's what counts at the end of the day you know it is what's inside you all right so as I say so if people only want to think of you on how you look all right then sod them you know all right uh, uh, just tell them you know well you know go go play with the train or you know go and play on the motorway or something all right and then um, I hope this helps people. And then um, I think that's it for now. So, enjoy the rest of your day. Bye-bye now.